Secretary of State Anthony Blinken spent today in Israel, arriving in country just hours after Hezbollah launched yet another missile attack near Tel Aviv. According to reports, Secretary Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for more than two hours, pushing the Biden-Harris administration's threat to withhold military support from Israel based on aid sent to residents of Gaza. Meanwhile, the FBI has begun its investigation into the leak of classified documents that appear to show Israel's plan for a retaliatory attack on Iran. Joining me now to discuss this and more, Senator Mike Rounds from South Dakota. He serves on five Senate committees, including the Senate Intelligence Committee and the Armed Services Committee. Senator Rounds, welcome to Washington Watch. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, is headway being made, in your opinion, with uh, Secretary Blinken's stop in Israel? Is, is the Biden administration helpful or are they a hindrance to what Israel is attempting to do? I think their approach has not helped the situation in terms of finally ending, ending the violence. I think they mean well by saying they want to do ceasefires and so forth. Problem is, is you've got to have two different parties that want to have a ceasefire. Hezbollah and Hamas both are terrorist organizations. They have not uh, and have never been uh, an organization that you could trust to begin with. And to simply go to our ally Israel and expect them, after they were attacked, to unilaterally, or at least without real assurances of safety for their country, to decide that they're going to have a ceasefire is simply not the right approach to finishing this thing up. Uh, Senator, your colleague, Senator Grassley, last year, uh, along with some of your other colleagues, sent a letter to uh, the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, regarding a, uh, an individual that was in the Pentagon, had left the State Department, gone to the Pentagon, uh, regarding uh, uh, potential recruitment by Iran. Uh, are you concerned that the Biden Pentagon may have been compromised by uh, Iranian agents? I'm not sure if it's the Pentagon or if there's someone within the IC community in general or the National Security Council. But what we do know is, is that Israel has a reason not to be sharing uh, their most sensitive information with this administration. Uh, they clearly believe that there is a leak someplace. And right now, the fact that we're investigating to find out where it's at, uh, it, you know, it simply confirms, I guess, in our, in our minds, that something is going on within the administration. Don't know if it's in the Pentagon, don't know if it's in the IC community, don't know if it's National Security Council or within the White House itself, but somebody, someplace, the Israelis clearly believe is a leak. Now, I know that uh, uh, John Kirby has indicated that uh, it may have been a hack or a leak, he wasn't sure which, but most certainly there is evidence that we have not done a good job of keeping proprietary information secret. And that gives Israel a real reason not to be discussing a lot of their plans with this administration until after they've executed their plans. Well, it's been over a, a year, but there have been concerns about uh, Envoy Rob Malley, who was working on the Iranian nuclear negotiations. His security clearance was uh, revoked because of mishandling of classified information. Uh, all surrounding the Iranian community, the Iranian uh, recruitment of, uh, of individuals within the, the Biden administration. So there certainly seems to be uh, evidence of a track record here. For some reason, this administration seems to think that they can trust Iran. That's at the same time that we know that Iran has been trying to execute our former officers of the United States, including the former president. And uh, look, th these guys aren't to be trusted. And we should not be uh, simply communicating with the Iranians on anything. And I, I am most certainly hopeful that this administration has not been sharing any sensitive information from Israel with them. And uh, I'm assuming that they are not, but clearly this stuff is leaking out. Somebody within the administration is leaking it out or they've been hacked, one or the other. But in any event, I don't blame Israel one bit for keeping a lot of the information very, very uh, secretive and away from this administration. Uh, there's something not right in the White House or the administration because that information should never have been in a place where it could have been leaked in the first place. Uh, uh, Senator Rounds, you've been an outspoken supporter of Israel. Uh, you've been um, very supportive in your comments of, of them and your actions. 
if they cannot communicate with the United States, and, and I, I, I agree with what you just laid out there, how can they trust an administration where, where it, it leaks like a sieve? But does that mean Israel, it's almost as if they have to go alone. I mean, they are in a, an existential battle for their survival of their very country. I mean, th this is not a good situation. Yeah, this is not a practice. This is this is not one of those things where no big deal. This is this is existential threat to their long-term survivability. And sometimes I think that the administration doesn't see it that way. They think this is one of those things where it, it would sure be nice if the if the Iranians would give up their nuclear programs or we could limit it. Uh, and, and and at the same time, they don't seem to understand that for Israel. They can't make a mistake on this. It, Israel has to have clear evidence that that uh, Iran does not have nuclear capabilities. And uh, this administration seems to think that they can just negotiate with the Iranians and get something done. And, and that's just simply not happening. And uh, at the same time, um, they've got to be able to communicate with uh, our ally, Israel, and they've got to be able to keep this confidential. My fear is that they they are not putting enough uh, emphasis on the need to keep information shared by Israel a secret. They don't seem to understand that this is life and death in Israel, and that if Israel is going to give us information that we would like to have, we've got to take the extra time and effort to keep it secure. I think they're getting lackadaisical on it. It's a concern that we've got. In fact, uh, most recently, when when certain uh, efforts by Israel to take out Hamas and uh, uh, you know, and those folks in in uh, Lebanon, uh, that information was not shared with our people, and and I don't blame them a bit. But when they when they executed on those on those plans without our knowledge or with, without informing us, I wondered at that time if perhaps there had been a breach and they were not going to let this particular information out, where anybody could have a, a prior warning as to what they were planning on doing. And I don't blame them a bit. If we can't keep the secrets, and they shouldn't be giving us that proprietary information. Senator, when you combine that concern, that hesitancy to share information with the United States on behalf of Israel, combined with um, our lackadaisical support of them in their military operations, and, and I know we're all concerned about what's happening in Israel, in the Middle East, all the civilian casualties. Could this have not been resolved much quicker if the United States would have worked along with Israel instead of appearing to work against them? We hoped it could have been ended earlier. But the only way you do that is by providing full support rather than dishing it out piecemeal. Uh, I think if, uh, if uh, Hamas would have understood from day one that the United States was fully engaged and and that we were going to provide all of the weapon systems that Israel needed to chase them out, to take them out as quickly as possible, I think a huge amount of pain and suffering could have been avoided. At the same time, they're still, you know, Hamas is still there. And while Israel has done their best to take out the folks who were responsible for the October 7th attack of last year, most certainly I think that we could have provided them with additional, uh, additional assistance in a more timely fashion. Part of it, I think, is incompetence. I think, the, I think the paperwork gets in the way of this administration. And part of it, I think they intentionally slow things down. I, I'm right. not sure that their heart is in it. And uh, th th that's not the right approach. You, once you decide that you're in and, you, and, you, and, and you've and you chosen sides, and we have, I think having had the opportunity to help end this war more quickly would have saved lives. And, and you're absolutely right. Nobody wants to see the pain and suffering that's going on among the innocent victims there in Gaza, or for that matter, in southern Lebanon right now. Right. But when you've got when you've got terrorists who are using these innocent people as shields, uh, unfortunately, you still have to go in and you have to take out those terrorists, right. or this thing never ends. And, and and they're even using the humanitarian support that uh, Secretary Blinken is over there pounding his chest about Israel letting more in. I mean, that that we we've seen that it's in the bunkers of the terrorists. They're using that humanitarian support to bolster their own efforts. Uh, Senator, That's right. we're up against a break. I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, always appreciate your insights. Thanks so much. Thank you.